said, everything, so we are ready. <laughs> There's no more. <laughs> not going to be so long, don't worry. <laughs> well, first of all, sorry because they asked me to talk in English, <laughs> and I am the spokesperson for Latin America. <laughs> and Latin America is a Spanish and Portuguese speaking region, not English. But also I find it unfair because since I arrived to this country at the airport until the taxi we took this morning, everybody speaks Spanish. <laughs> <coughs> So only in our forum, <laughs> that's that, <laughs> we have to speak in English. <laughs> okay, but you ask it for that, you'll have to try to understand me. <laughs> but anyway, I will try to do it in English and I know there are some people who are going to help me, yes? Good. It's interesting because we think everything is in English and it's in Spanish here. Before we come to the United States, we feel very, how do you say, afraid of coming here. Yeah, that's true. Everybody feels very, I mean, to come here, to get the visa, and to have the 125 papers, the accounts of your grandfathers and so on. <laughs> it's quite complicated. And to tell you the truth, I was for more than six months quite tense, saying, well, I'm going to go there. And I had a, ¿cómo se una puesta? a bet with some friends that I was going to be back in Chile in two days because I said many times that Mr. Bush is a terrorist and all that, and I was sure that everything was in the computers. <coughs> so, it's, it's interesting. Uh, it's not easy to arrive to the United States. It's not easy, not because of the price of the tickets, they're expensive, not because of the distance, but because you feel afraid of what is going to happen to you. And, uh, <coughs> It's interesting that, well, everything was okay, that after you arrive and finally you are here inside the United States, in New York, but I was in these days in so many cities and states in less than a week, in New York, in Maryland, in Washington, in Boston, that's Massachusetts, and in some other states that we crossed. And everywhere we felt such a, I say, a, una calidez, warmth. warmth. And it's a surprise because the image you have when you are <coughs> far away before coming here is an image of a very tense country, of a, a very violent country, of a place where they hate people from abroad. And then you are here. And uh, it's very easy to be here. And you feel the warmth from the people. And you feel all the time, every day, everywhere you are. And many of the people who are coming from different countries, they said the same. And then you have this diversity where you can talk, as I said, as a joke, but it's true. You can talk in Spanish or if you prefer in Italian or probably in Arab, or in Hebrew, or, in, or maybe even in English. <laughs> <laughs> then you start to ask yourself, well, what is the problem then? What is the problem? I mean, you, have, you find these nice people everywhere ready to help you 
ready to talk very easily with you, to explain you everything, to respect you and your space. What is the problem then? Maybe the problem is not here, maybe. We will talk about that later. Maybe the problem is not here, but I think there are at least two problems. The first one is that the world is absolutely, uh, how do you say, interconnected? Interconnected. And that means that even if you don't have a problem exactly here in this place, there is a big problem in the world. And United States has to do with that problem. Some but more, I don't want to talk about the big politics, but talking about people, the problem is that the world is interchange, and you can't uh, run away from the problems. There is a story, and I told this story in some other places, and it's a true story. In the mid-70s, a young couple from England, they were, how do you say, acá up to here with the violence and with the uh, amenaza, with the threat of nuclear bombs and all that. It's a young couple. No, that wasn't the newspapers at that time. And thinking about what to do, they decided to go to the, how do you say, to the far farthest place in the world possible to be in peace, to be disconnected from all these threat of bombs. And they went to a very far away island. Two or three years later, I don't know, one morning bombs started to fall over the head, over the house. They were very unlucky. They went to a far away island called Malvinas or Falkland, Falkland Islands. <laughs> It's very interesting. I find it a very good example because there's no way to run out of violence. You can be on London, you can be on Manhattan, or you can be wherever you want, or you can be in a, an island in the, almost in the Antarctica, and you will have to face with a violent world. There's no way to escape. So I think this is the first problem we have. There's no way to escape violence. We think violent is on the other side of the world, and then suddenly violent is in Manhattan. There's no way to escape violent. You think violent is in some families that have, I don't know which problem, and suddenly violent is in your own family, in communication with your son, with your daughter, with your parents. You think that violent is only physical violent and then you realize that you're receiving all type of violence, economical, psychological, and many other type of violence. <laughs> so there's no way to run out of the violent situation that is almost everywhere. And the second point is something related to the personal situation. Okay, maybe everything is okay. Maybe you have very good highways. Very, uh, this all of all <laughs> here, you, you can find everything. But I'm here just a couple of days, so it's hard for me to, to, to say. But from what I saw, I see people who have everything, but there's something in their eyes that shows me that they're not, they don't have everything. I saw something that is missing, maybe two things. Time, first of all. <laughs> Nobody has time. Everybody is. To stand in Penn Station, for example, for a while is quite interesting. Huh? Or in Boston Station, or in many of the other stations we've been in a couple of days or in any street here or everywhere, or even the central